Dogs, it's Simon here. Welcome back to Hermit's Cave. So I need a drink of a cold drink. It's um, it's been a day. <laughs> How is everybody? I'm just gonna light some incense. Um, yeah, I've I've been on the road a lot today. I've covered a lot of miles, and then tonight after work, I went over to my mum's because a parcel has arrived from the States. And I got there just before a road traffic accident, which meant a 20 minute journey actually took just over two hours to get there. Every route in and out of the town where my mum lives was just so congested. But anyway, I'm home now. It's the evening. Do I need some light? Let's put some bit of light. Oh, that's a bit too bright. Um, yeah, it's the evening and I've just sat down and I'm going to open this package that's arrived today. It is from the lovely Diane, um, who we know from the channel Blue Crescent Tarot. Now, Diane has, she's so generous. She has sent three packages to the UK for various people, myself included, and two were sent a long time before mine and they're still held up somewhere probably be the Suez Canal <laughs> um, but mine has taken eight days she posted it last Tuesday and it came this Wednesday so yeah just over a week to um, in fact I think it took longer to get from the States to the UK than it did to get through the various parts of the UK but anyway it's here I've got no idea what she sent and she really didn't need to she um she said she's wanted to send me something for quite some time um and i told her there was really no need but that's our Diane. and yeah she said do you want to know or do you want a surprise so i was like yeah i'll take a surprise <laughs> so um i'm opening up the box it's sealed really well and if you haven't checked out Diane's channel, do, because um, she has the loveliest nature, one of the sweetest people on YouTube. And, you know, I don't say that lightly. She's just so, she's so nice. I, up until we went back to college and schools open full time in, on, from the 8th of March, I used to work from home on a Friday and I used to catch her while I was working. I used to catch her live streams on a Friday afternoon and I really miss them now. So, yeah. Okay. I'm in. So, yeah. Diane from Blue Crescent Tarot. Do check out her channel. And I'm so excited. And we've been tracking the journey all the way through. <laughs> we've been sending each other screenshots of like, oh, it's just left Chicago. Oh, it's just arrived at Heathrow Airport. And I guess I was like, it's at Coventry. <laughs> So, oh, ooh, look at this. So there is a card. I don't know if I can read it. Now, I should have checked. Deanne did say something about, I think she said you can read things and there's a couple of post-its. So it's got my name on, Simon. And, oh, the envelope, look at that. It's lined, that's beautiful. And it's got a ship. Which is really nice. Um, I won't read it out. Uh, okay, yeah, I won't read it all out. It's 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 lovely. And this was signed twenty third of March, and today's thirty first of March. So, um, yeah. She's just saying, basically, it's a, a small gift to say thanks for all you'll do. You're sweet, comfort. It's got her through some some rough spots, and she's honoured to call you my friend. The honour is all mine as well, Diane, and you are a friend. I love how our little chats and conversations, and yeah, it's a it's the friendship is a two way street. Okay, 
So, wow, there's a lovely little, looks like a zip pouch. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's the sun and moon. And look at that. That's almost kind of deviant moon-ish, isn't it? So that's a really nice pouch. And look at the, the zip. So it opens up. Oh, there's some little bits on the inside as well. Now, what did she say about the pouch? She made reference to the pouch. I was looking where I put the, um, the card then. Um, the red pouch, which is gorgeous. The red pouch is part of a two piece set my mum gave me years ago. It used to keep stickers and such in it. So it is lined, it's got like um, a plasticky inside, so it'd be good to keep things nice and dry. But that's lovely. And then let's see what it says here. Um, oh, it's a pendulum, golden quartz. Tiny stone. Oh, it's a Super 7. I love Super 7. On my desk here, I've got this little pouch with a, a Super 7 in as well. Um, I have a few of these that I purchased all together. Okay, I'm not going to read the next bit because it will spoil a surprise for other people. Um, and then underneath... Um, I have a similar pendulum in Moonstone. Think of this one as its twin. It said it wanted to come and live with you. And that's the only time I used it. Oh, so she used it and it wanted to come and live with me. <laughs> that is so sweet. Oh, and there's a couple of, uh, a couple of Deviant Moon cards. She's popped in as well. Oh wow, look at this. How beautiful is that? Look at that. It's really beautiful. That kind of looks like um, orange calcite. I've got an orange calcite sphere. But it's gorgeous. Absolute gorgeous. Thank you, Diane. That's so lovely. Okay, and then put something here. Oh wow! Oh my goodness, how did you get this? I didn't even think this was it's the Trionthi della Luna in the purple. This was the one that I wanted to get and then couldn't get. So I've got Triumphi della Luna when it was a majors only. I've got Triumphi della Luna and then Triomphe de la Lune, the French one, the English version. And then I've got the paradoxical and the paradoxical rose. But I was never able to get this. And I didn't think it was in stock anymore. I thought it was out of print. It's the paradoxical purple. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and let's just have a look at a few of these cards. Oh my gosh, Diane, I am I'm so so touched um, that you sent me this. So um Triumphi della Luna, if I just show you, for those of you who might not be familiar, this is by the um, Deviant Moon. So Patrick Valenza is the artist who did Deviant Moon. Um, and this is in order, this one, because it's the last one I did a walkthrough of. And the artwork is incredible. It's one of my favourite Marseille decks. Um, and then the first kind of paradoxical one that I got is just the, the paradoxical edition. And oh, it's just so rich. It's like a, a deep gold in the background. But, you know, some people have often compared it as like, you know, having a, a negative version. I don't mean negative as in positive and negative. But, you know, like the old negatives that you get when you used to develop film. Um, but, yeah, it's incredible. Both versions are amazing. And then the only paradoxical one that I had, the colour 
uh, varieties, as I mentioned, is this one, which I don't understand why this is so thick as well. Look at the difference in thickness. Wow, that's quite sizable. Not quite sure why that is. Um, but anyway, this is the Paradoxical Rose, which is stunning. Oh, just look at that. Really beautiful. And as I mentioned, I was never able to get the purple um, or the blue, but the purple, purple's my, my colour. I love purple, as you can probably tell. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's open her up. So, I never thought I'd, I'd own this. gonna work <laughs> frightened of tearing it <clears throat> took boxes they're the bane of my life there we go oh, look at the backs it's beautiful purple it looks almost blue on camera but they are purple backed this is a chunky beast of a deck So we have the title card, Trion Fidela Luna, Paradoxical Purple. This was 2014. I think it's 2014 for Trion Fidela Luna, actually, because I think this came out about 2017, 2018. Um, but why is it so thick? So let's see what we're getting here. So there's our pentacles. Queen of Coins, King of Coins. So you usually get 10 Oracle cards with Triumphi Della Luna, but there's obviously more than that here. Okay, so we've, what is this? One, two. I've never seen these before. Wow. These are amazing. This explains why the box is so thick. Look at that. Sorry about the noise. It's it's British summertime now, so the windows are open and we're having a little bit of a, a heat wave. Oh, and then we've got some um, alternative cards. So we've got one to 21 of these. It's like a majors only deck, although that kind of looks like a fall, but it's numbered one. It's kind of like a mythical creatures. And then we have these alternative cards, which we do get in a lot of the uh, Triomphi della Luna decks. We've got House of God here for the tower and the judgment card. Wow, so there are alternative cards that we can switch around. And these are the Oracle cards. I've got a printed, um, PDF of these we have explanations on that's one of my favorites is there any need look at that and there's 10 of them as you can see here oh I'm loving this all right so I'm just going to show these cards, have some music and show these cards. I know a lot of people have seen Tromfi della Luna, but if you want to see this uh, purple variety uh, or purple edition, I should say, then, then enjoy.
as you can see, I should have said if you weren't aware, but Triomphe della Luna is a Marseille style deck, which is different to the Deviant Moon, which is based around RWS. But just look how beautiful these are in the purple. I thought nothing would be the Rose Edition. Or maybe, maybe I'd said that to myself because I never thought I'd actually own this deck. Of course, now the pouch makes sense as well. <laughs> because, as I said when I looked at the images on it, I said it's almost Deviant Moon ish. So of course these have got to live in that pouch. They just have to. So beautiful. Wow, so there we have it. Incredible. Just debating whether to edge these in purple or not. I don't actually think they need it, but you know me, maybe. Um, Diane, what can I say? You're, you're too kind. Really, really a generous soul. Um, thank you so much. I've never seen these before. These are really intriguing me, these majors only. Um, cards but it's they're a different system i don't think there's anything on the box about them is there let's have a look triomphe della luna is the marseille styled cousin of the deviant moon tarot its creation was inspired by antique historical decks and 19th century satirical illustrations this exclusive deluxe set includes six alternatives, 10 bonus oracle cards, and the Beast Pack expansion. So it's 115 cards. Wow. So it's the Beast Pack. I said mythical creatures, didn't I? But the Beast Pack ex expansion. I'm hoping there's a PDF there so I would be able to interpret these. If not, I'll have a good go using my own intuition i love that little guy <laughs> this is so cool this is such a cool gift diane thank you thank you so much um i absolutely love it and i, I think the 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 Dow sim uh, crystal as well is just so beautiful so yeah thank you i will treasure these always all right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely week. And until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.